Do you like coffee? Do you like chocolate? Do you like mocha? I do. This video will compare Folgers Natural Chocolate Coffee to Starbucks Mocha Coffee. Kim Townsville here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video if appropriate. The Starbucks Mocha came in at 63 and a half cents per ounce and the Folgers came in at 59.8 cents per ounce. So just a few cents difference in the per ounce cost. The Folgers coffee has natural chocolate with natural flavors, of course. The Starbucks has coffee and other natural flavors. Here's the manufacturing information for the Folgers. Here's the manufacturing information for the Starbucks. Let's get a closer look at the package details. The Folgers tells you how to brew their coffee using a tablespoon of coffee per six ounces of water. Of course, you can add more or less to your, ta to your taste and store coffee in a cool, dry place away from sunlight. The Starbucks says it has decadent notes of cocoa with a lighter roast coffee. And Starbucks recommends brewing with one and a half tablespoon per six ounces of water. The Folgers has just a little clip seal and it was sealed the way most copies are. The Starbucks, excuse my nails, I'm putting nail treatment on my nails. The Starbucks has this thing that does not work very well one handed. And then it has the clip. And then it has this part that I'm going to have to pull open. So I'm going to do that. The Starbucks is so hard to open. It always has been really, really hard for me to open. I don't need, I don't know that they need to do all that. You can see the difference in their seal and the Folgers seal, which was quite easy to open. But it's, it's a struggle for me to get this open. And sometimes I've even ripped the packaging trying to get this seal open. I'm not sure all that's necessary. The packaging thickness is about the same so I'm not sure if that seal is just to be mean to customers or if they think that it's making it more fresh. These Folgers natural coffee smells a little off. It smells a little like old chocolate. I don't know if you've ever found like old chocolate left over from the holidays or something. If you were a kid I did. That's what it smells like. And then it has a, a little undercurrent of something I can't quite identify yet. The Starbucks coffee, it has a much stronger um, coffee scent. There's a very slight alcoholic undertone, much like the fake alcoholic coffees flavors that you get. But they both, you can definitely tell that they, they both have chocolate in them. This is two scoops of each coffee and a little shot glass. I'm going to move this back and give this a little more light. They look pretty similar. Honestly, if I were given these mixed up, I don't think that I could tell one from the other. There's the Starbucks Mocha. There's the Folgers Natural Chocolate. I'm brewing about six cups of my Mr. Coffee decanter. And I put five scoops of the Folgers Natural Chocolate in here. I have a video up just about the Starbucks. If you would like to watch that. But I've never tried the Folgers. And I didn't even know they made it. And it was a little bit cheaper, so I thought I would give it a run for the money. I also have a video up about my Mr. Coffee Maker and the pros and cons of it, if you would care to go watch that. I'm pretty happy with my Mr. Coffee coffee maker, but some of my viewers want me to get a different type of coffee maker. If 
usually I put two scoops of chocolate flavored coffee in with the coffee that I normally drink, which is Black Rifle Coffee AK Espresso. I put three scoops of the AK and have been putting two scoops of Starbucks chocolate and it's really, really good. It's not just like a dessert and it's not just like coffee. It's a little, it's a nice little morning coffee that's in between. It works for me. But today I'm brewing just straight on pot of Folgers natural chocolate to see what, see what it tastes like. Isn't coffee wonderful? I'm really jealous of people who wake up in the morning in a good mood and don't need coffee or caffeine to turn them into human beings. I know that millions of people around the world do that, but I'm self-aware enough to know that I'm not one of them. First cup's almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and pour. Looks nice and dark and luscious. Pour the rest of this into my preheated Yeti cup. I think there's still a little bit left coming through. Looks nice and dark. how it tastes. So I'm going to have my first drink of this Folgers mocha coffee. Ooh. Well, so far I can tell you I definitely like the Starbucks better. This has a really bitter taste. Maybe I don't need to brew it as strong as I do the Starbucks. I'll get another shot. It does have that background chocolate taste, but it's like a dark chocolate or an old chocolate. Today I'm trying with the Starbucks mocha. Again, five scoops. And I have six cups of water for my Mr. Coffee. This um, Starbucks mocha, it smells really, really good. It does have um, a deep chocolate smell, not so much as a dark chocolate smell. I would say more of a rich chocolate. If you've ever smelled the difference between like drugstore chocolate and really, really, really good chocolate, 
then you know what I'm talking about. The Starbucks smells like a really, really good chocolate. The Folgers definitely does not have that rich smell. This smells so good. Has a really good coffee aroma. Coming in with a nice dark clear color. Here's the first pot of the Starbucks mocha. Nice, clear, dark color. Putting the remainder in my pretty Betty cup. For later. <coughs> Smells great. Looks great. Let's taste this Starbucks mocha. Now that is good. That is really good. Not bitter, not overly artificial flavoring, not overly chocolate, just really good. I didn't drink all the Folgers to left over yesterday. I put it in a glass jar, put it in the fridge, and today I mixed it with my favorite protein to make a chocolate shake. So I'll have a mocha shake in a little bit. I had my second pot of the Folgers Natural Chocolate Coffee today. I must say it was much better today than the first day. Perhaps my, as my grandmother would say, my taster was off the first time I tried it. Much better today. My final take on the Folgers Natural Chocolate. This is a cup of just the Folgers by itself. I've been using two scoops of the Folgers with my three scoops of my regular coffee and it's okay. If I had not brewed the pure Folgers and the pure Starbucks and then the mix with the Folgers and the mix with the Starbucks back to back, mm -hmm. I probably would have told you that the Folgers is just fine to use. However, since I've gone back and forth, being able to compare the Folgers to the Starbucks, I'll have to say that for aroma, the Starbucks is better aroma. For flavor, the Starbucks is a better flavor. But this is not horrible. So if you like chocolate and you like coffee, then, you know, take, take, this, take this out for a ride. It's only going to cost you six bucks. It's not horrible. It's just that to me the Starbucks is a little bit better. My preference between the two is going to be the Starbucks mocha. Even though it's a slightly pricier per cup, the flavor is much more rich. The flavor is much more natural. 
the coffee is a little less bitter but for mixing if I'm going to do um, two scoops of the chocolate to three scoops of my regular coffee either one's going to be fine so I'll just buy whichever one's available for brewing just a pure cup of the mocha coffee I pref do prefer the Starbucks Thanks for watching my channel. Feel free to like, subscribe, share the video if appropriate, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.